guys, here we are this morning. You can see that deer standing over there by that well, maybe. It's not not 150, 125 yards over there, but on this GoPro, you guys can't already see it. It's going up the edge of that reservoir right now behind that well pump. Looks like a, not a very big one. Looks like a yearling, maybe. Last year's fawn. But anyway, looks like I can see a bunch of grass moved around down here. Rice has been pulled out more so than yesterday. We're going to grab these setters here. And uh, walk down here and see if we got anything this morning. All right, I see one laying there, guys. So they were definitely in here working again last night. We've got one caught right here. Pretty decent size one. And this trap here definitely all been disturbed. I can't see the trap just yet. All right, trap's still there. See if we can real carefully see what happened here. It looks like looks like maybe they come through here with a mouthful of that rice and uh, set the trap off. I believe that's what happened here. It may have been that same beaver, or might have been a different one. They come through here, had a nope. There's a, there's what happened here. A safety caught, guys. So uh, when I set this trap, I didn't take the safeties off. So we had a miss there. So that's what happened on this trap. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna put it right back down in there. This time, make sure we get those safeties off and uh, see if we can't can't get another one. Oh, it happens. I mean, it happens, guys. You get out here, you're hot, get in a hurry, and moving around, and mistakes are always happening. Let's lay that right there for a minute. We're gonna clean clean all this back off. Make them a little runway here. So they're gonna be swimming down this little little run here. And they're gonna see this as they're opening to go through right here. And they want that trap sitting there in a working order with the safeties off. I was gonna take these safeties and we're gonna put them down here and uh, bend them over a spring there so they won't get caught again. Or on this side, we've got this wire on this 330 we'll take and we'll wrap that wire around that safety to keep it held up. And we're just gonna take and set that trap right back down in there. We're gonna come right back here, catch a corner of the trap. I 
Gonna go right back here with that stake on this corner. Secure that trap down in there. Just like that. If we need to, we'll come in here and we'll, we'll doctor this up just a little bit. Just like that, now we got this runway here. They're gonna come in here, and see this grass, go to dive, go under it. And hopefully we'll have them caught tomorrow. We'll get this one out of here. Get this trap reset. We're gonna put it right back down there, right in that same spot that we had it. Gonna catch that corner. Not only are we catching the corner of the trap, guys, but what we're trying to do is get that thing right through the eye spring. Hopefully you can see there, that eye spring comes together. We got the corner of the trap, but that, actually what's holding it is that rebar both sides of that eye where it's squeezed tight there and that rebar is going right down in between them so <clears throat> so that's what's actually holding that trap there we're just going to take and lay some of that grass over it again We're gonna come in here, we're gonna stand all this back up. Try to keep them from coming through right here. And block that off. And there we go, that's gonna leave them, leave them a spot to come through here and go under. This is a good, healthy beaver, guys. He's a good, a good 50 pounds. She's a female. She's got kits. <clears throat> All right, doing nuisance work. This is what we want, guys. We want these females. They're the one to make the babies. So she's she's got kits right now. So by taking her out, we're taking out a, a number of beavers. And she's she's healthy too. So I'm gonna ease on down here to this next one and uh, see if we hopefully we've got a catch in it too. It doesn't look to be disturbed. It's still set there. I can see it through the water. It's still set, so we're gonna leave it be. They didn't come in here and work last night. Uh, we'll leave it again tonight. Uh, looks like they're working on that levee first. 
I never did make it down there all the way to the other end where this goes across the field. I'm gonna run down, I'm gonna go down to the other side and come back up. I never did find where them beaver are coming into this field at. So they're, they're not living out here in this rice. She doesn't have her house and her little ones in this rice. She's got them somewhere else along the border. And I wanna find where she's coming from. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow this. I'm gonna drive back around the field and follow this run all the way to the other side of the field and see if I can possibly uh, figure out where she's coming from. Something else I noticed too yesterday is right over here in the edge of these woods, there's there's a pretty good slough that's holding quite a bit of water. With us having a drought right now, it looked odd that water being standing in there. So I'm gonna pull around here and walk out in these woods and look at it and see if I can find a dam. Maybe they're coming from right in here. And I just, just uh, scout around a little bit and see what I can see, see if I can see any activity. It, it may possibly be that from them flooding this rice field, that water's making its, making its way to the other side of that road. And that, this uh, rice field water is actually what's flooding that slough. But I want to get over there and look at it and see what's going on. Just kind of look around a little bit this morning. All right, guys, right over here, right over here is those, uh, just on the other side of the field is those two sets. I don't know if you guys will be able to pick out them orange flags or not, but just right over there in the edge of that field. And right here we are on the edge of these woods. And in here yesterday driving by, I noticed I noticed this water standing out here. So what I want to do today is walk walk in here and just explore a little bit and see if I can't find the reason of why this water is holding them here and see if that reason might be a beaver dam or those beavers holding that water. So I'm just going to take a little trip through the woods this morning while it's cool and uh, see what I can see. I've already seen probably about 15 deer out here this morning and uh, of course we caught that one one big female beaver. So we're just gonna we're just gonna enjoy our time out here now. We've already got got our sets checked and we're just gonna take a stroll through the woods this morning, refresh the soul and uh, see what we can see. So it's just this is just, just gonna be a natural uh, low line area and uh, not gonna be a dam or anything but since we're back in here we're gonna go ahead and uh, walk over here to this ditch and see if possibly there's some dams or something in it we probably won't set them right now uh, all I want to worry about I'm not worried about catching them all right now I'm just worried about catching the ones that are getting out in that rice field and clogging those drains but now that we've been over here and we know the area, this will be a place where we'll come back when the temperature cools off and we'll get over there and we'll try to catch, try to catch all the beaver. And uh, that way it helps the farmer out come next year. Won't have the problem to begin with. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna continue walking around and looking and uh, exploring a little bit. May walk out to the edge of that, uh, watershed it's just right up here at the edge of these woods that big watershed i showed you yesterday we may walk up there to the edge of it and kind of walk along it and see if we can find possibly they're living in it but there's going to be a there's going to be some more beaver around here besides that one uh we'll probably just me guessing i'm going to say we'll catch one more out in that rice field and then that'll be the end of that that'll be the ones that are keeping it stopped up and then we'll get back out here this winter and try to pick up the rest of them. And it looks like it's gonna be another good property to add to, uh, add to the list of the properties that I trap. And coyotes and predators are gonna use this wood lot here to hunt. Run this ditch bank. Now here's that, that slough we've been following. Here's where it's starting to wash out and go into this bigger creek here. Right now with this drought, there's not going to be much water in any of these ditches, but if we can find a pool of it holding water, it's going to tell us that those beavers have got it dammed up holding what water that is there. Well, they're going to be somewhere close by. Yeah, this thing's going to be almost dry, guys. Well, here's that big ditch. And if them beaver had had a dam somewhere down through here, this, this would be holding water. We wouldn't be able to see the bottom. We're just gonna go ahead and walk walk it out to this uh, 
edge of this wood lot here and uh, walk over to that reservoir and check it out while we're exploring. Right here's an old coon trail. You can tell where it's beat down. You guys that are coon trapping, find these ditches and on both sides you'll have a you'll have a coon trail on top. And right now the reason it's not beat down like it is is because the, the ditch is so dry. They're using that lower trail down at the bottom of the creek. So there'll be a there'll be a lower trail that them creek, them uh, coons, the animals walk along the edge of the water down here. The whole ditch line and then there'll be a high bank trail which is this one when the water gets up they'll switch and come up here and they'll hunt from this upper bank looking down into it and not only do your your coons it's mostly coons that use it but uh, you'll also hear some uh, skunk holes but anyway you'll also have your coyotes and bobcats and everything else that's walking the edge of this ditch hunting looking down in the ditch uh hunting this looks to me like it's going to be some skunk holes uh, not necessarily being used right now, but uh, pick skunks up in these holes. Remember what we find. Come winter time, we'll get out here if we want to catch some skunks. Right there is a good place to catch some skunks. There'll definitely be more, more holes along this ditch and we're still walking that coon trail it's just not beat down right now they're not using it they're using that lower that lower trail in the bottom of that ditch right now this right here too is another pinch point them animals to use guys and bobcats and foxes and stuff coons they will use these pipes going across these ditches We'll get over here and see if there's a trail where they're using it right now. So you can tell right now it's not getting heavy use, but right at the end of this pipe, looks like down here we've got an old beaver den, a big hole there. When the water was up, that was gonna be one of their one of their houses there but them critters will come right across that pipe guys and you can see their old drill coming up right here and going right in this grass going up to that watershed right here they used it quite a bit there's another little split right here that goes up so they had two different little trails coming up here into one this place is to remember for future sets these high banks like this out in this flat land Anytime you get a high bank like this corner, uh, it's a good spot for predators, coyotes, pick up your coyotes. All those coyotes in this area, whenever they hunt, they're going to hit those high points. They're going to walk along those high points to be able to see farther out in here when they're out hunting. So trap right up here on the corner of this watershed on top of that high bank somewhere. You're going to pick up coyotes there. And of course your thickets like this, this is perfect place where bobcats like to hunt. Go through real thick. Right here's a trail coming in and out of there. So right here's a trail that all your animals are going to use. It, you know, a deer hunter would call this a deer trail. A trapper is going to call it an ever critter trail because they're all going to use it. Every animal in the country is going to come down this same trail. So whether it be a deer, a coyote, a bobcat, no matter what it is, they're going to use this trail here. So right up here is what I was talking about on that high bank setting a predator set, guys. So we've got this big water reservoir. They got this fence all the way around it, so that's that's, and they're not keeping it clean, so that's a bunch of growth. This out here will probably get bush hog once a year once every couple of years but inside that fence may not get bush hog because it's so close to the water so having this thicket over here and that thicket on the edge of that lake this right here is a perfect corridor to set traps for uh, predators those coyotes bobcats everything's gonna gonna walk this ridge watching the water for prey and watching these low lying areas when they're hunting right here is a good trail guys 
don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but you can see the trail perfectly going down through here that all these critters are going to use. With this fence being here, idea spot, you're gonna you're gonna notice right here's a crawl under the coons are using the coon trail, perfect place for a dog proof or a coon trap. Here's another one going to the water's edge. So this fence is making a uh, is making a divider for you uh, to be able to pinpoint pinpoint a location where they're where they're going under into the water. We're walking old coon trail right now. You can see another one on the inside of that fence. All right, guys, I'm going to ease back to the truck and get out of here. This is Saturday, so I'm going to go to the house and uh, enjoy the air conditioner for a little bit until I get bored and got to find something else to do. But uh, thanks for watching. If you guys are enjoying the content, be sure to hit that subscribe. Right here's another good coon trail, if you guys can see it. But be sure to hit that subscribe button, like button if you want to be notified whenever I get new videos put up. Hit that bell, and it'll send you, YouTube will send you a message letting you know that I've got a new video posted. And uh, this stuff right here is getting me even more excited about the cool weather to get here to start getting my trap line put out so maybe maybe all this heat will pass fairly quick and before we know it we've got the arkansas state fall get together coming up in september i'm planning on being there I'd like to see a lot of you guys there meet you talk with you enjoy your fellowship if you can make it and then shortly after that, it'll be time to get the lines put out and go to trapping. I'm definitely looking forward to it, guys. So, uh, anyway, thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you next video.